Well, welcome back to Yorkcraft installment 13. Sorry it's been so long, but we've got quite a bit that we've done and we've got a lot of picture references now I've updated my software. So jumping straight into it then, over at the south transept of the Binster by the Rose window, originally in the 1500s there would have been a couple of bookshops just by the main gate. Looking at this picture here we can see also there was a wooden spire before the fire in the 1980s and these buttresses were actually changed in the 1800s by the Victorians. Nowadays they have a spire, whereas here we can see a castle sort of point. Uh, strictly speaking, as we come up here, this little tower on the top of the central tower shouldn't be here. It was put here in 1666 for the Jacobean War. It was a giant lantern to warn anyone of an attack. Uh, if we were to come away from the Minster for a bit, we can see the grounds have changed a lot. This first bit's where the old deanery would have been. And all of this which is built up is the Strensel Mansion. This is one of the six canons which would have frequented the Minster quite a lot. They each had quite lavish grounds around the Minster, where nowadays you've got the courts and the old residence. That would have been the deanery courtyard there. Unfortunately, this map we're seeing in the corner is pretty much one of the only records I've got for the mansions around the treasurer's house on the east end. So the best I can really do is just make the buildings as I know they pretty much would have looked in the 1500s. And as and when I know what goes in the house, I can start filling it up. As we come to this area that isn't built up, this is the Wistow Mansion, which runs along College Street, which, as we can see, was a lot thinner back in those days. This is St William's College, which then runs along the Langtoft Mansion, some of which does remain today. And that then does run alongside Chapter House Street, or Chapter Street, which is where one of the four precinct gates was, and joins it onto the Treasurer's House. Unfortunately, I still haven't really made much progress in the treasurer's house, as I uh, still haven't been able to get into it yet. Uh, if we then come behind along Chapter House Street, this is where the precinct walls start, and that comes onto Oglethorpe. This map on the left is the one I've been using for that, you can see the etched line going around. And at least when I do continue to do the treasurer's house, I do have the plans and I've laid out where Grey's Court's going to go and everything like that. And if we were to then turn back around and follow the walls, I've started doing all of the mounts that come up. And you can see why that abruptly stops as we get over, but there is a bit more progress on the Barbican as well. That being the square defensive structure in front of Monk Bar there with the door or sally port on the side. That was destroyed by the Victorians in 1827, as by that point it had got to quite a state of disrepair and it was getting in the way of the road as well. And coming back over Monk Bar, we can see from the picture here, obviously inverted on the right of the Oglethorpe, on the left Old Walk. And coming down Oglethorpe, this is where the gap in the precinct walls was. And I'm pretty sure all of these gates looked the same, although that is the only reference I can find. And then we've got the back of the Langtoff Mansion here, with the gap at the back being the gatekeeper's house for the Oglethorpe Gate. Which then would bring us back round to the other side of the treasurer's house where the new deanery would have been. This is the Victorian one. If you remember in a previous episode I'd built it and it said it needed destroying. Well that little empty bit of grass is the only evidence to say it used to be there. And behind the chapel or library building again we have the two, well sorry, two of the three remaining canon mansions. Which is the Ulca Skull followed by the Stillington. And after we get past there, we get to an area which we probably have seen before. I don't know the main difference this time is, we actually have fish in the ponds. Ain't it just about the little things? When we come back past over the Ingram Ponds, we can see the chapel or nowadays library appearing on our left from all the videos. And that means we're getting into this section of the back gardens by the Bootham section of the walls on the northwest. You can see finally that hedge maze is done. Unfortunately, I still haven't had much in the way of evidence to say what was where the palace was. Although, as we do come towards the back of the precinct walls where it joins back up, this is the Fenton Mansion which is the last of the canon mansions encircled inside the precinct wall, which is that slightly raised one which runs alongside Peter Gate, just where we can see Bootham. And in the way of specific projects, that's pretty much all I've done, but I have been doing a lot of work extending these roads and making sure I've got a lot of plans for buildings as they start to come in. And I'm just going to keep this map popped up in the corner. This is pretty much the only solid reference I've got for overall mappage. There is a few which are sketched, but a lot of them are out of date. 
and that is basically why the progress is going so slow because this is taken from an encyclopedia which is rather expensive to buy and there's no HD images online so unfortunately I do have to do things quite slowly but the progress is getting there and with the software issues that I've been having over the last couple of months there is actually quite a bit more content after these videos so it shouldn't be too long for me to put another one out although I think I am just going to stop promising you it's going to be in a certain amount of time as uh, one video after another I've figured out that I'm not very good with timings so uh, I'm just going to let us fly through the minster and see you next time Strictly speaking, I did forget to mention this area. It is now fully enclosed with the precinct gate built up, and the courtyard just here by the Westminster Gate is also done. These first cottages kind of give you an idea of what we're going to see in the next video, where High Peter Gate and Stone Gate are almost fully laid out, at least on the facade side. I do have a few of the buildings done on the inside. And as we do start to circle back over past the deanery, the only thing really left to show you is the size of the area that's now complete, which is essentially everything you can see on this map, barring a couple of the streets at the bottom. So we saw the start of Old Walk, and this is the corner of Goodrum Gate, which just joins onto Low Peter Gate, we can see at the bottom left of the map. Meaning, if we were to pop back down this way with Goodrum Gate, Holy Trinity Church on our left, that means eventually we'd start to see the Strensel Mansion pop into view, and then the Pillars for the Bedern Gate, which is another one of the four gates I mentioned earlier. That brings us down College Street with the Wistow Mansion on the left, and the College on the right, and the Minster in front. Well, that pretty much wraps up instalment 13 of York Craft. And say so with the earlier mention of getting a lot more content done with the software issues, the next one will be out very soon, or another one after that. I have no idea. Uh, I've got a few more subscribers now as well. I've gone up another six, which is big things considering how long it is I uh, take to put out videos. So, massive thank you, and see you next time. Stay crafty.